All right, hey Aries, so we're doing a 30 day no contact reading. All right, and you guys are going to know this is your read by how your energy currently and how you feel about this person that's on your mind. So we're sticking off April readings, okay? I'm going to try my best to stick to a weekly reading for you guys and get different love perspective situations into the mix. So if you're new, welcome. Thank you for um, hanging out, you guys. I do hope you subscribe. And over on Facebook and Instagram is where I do my Oracle. I do daily Oracle card pulls. Minus, I haven't done today's yet. Friday. Um, the reels, the readings that do not get uploaded to um, YouTube are over there on Facebook mainly. So anyways, if you're returning, thank you guys. So we're checking on your energy your energy so we're doing a 30 day no contact read so this knight of cups could be um could be um the person on your mind okay you got a scorpio libra energy coming through but it's almost like you're waiting for somebody to come it's like you come over here right so you're waiting for your messenger you got your eight of swords and you got your hierophant card so i feel like where you guys are at kind of headspace wise really just kind of waiting to see if this person's going to come through for you. Um, the eight of swords, um, tells me that you guys are probably overthinking the situation, um, over analyzing every little thing that happened or transpired between you and them. And I feel like with that Hierophant card, you guys are just trying to look for something solid and stable and secure, um, to come of this situation. Some of you guys could be feeling like it's a missed opportunity. Okay. Um, one thing I'm not going to pull is the cause of it. Um, but some of you guys could actually be looking at this as, you know, their loss. Okay. But while you're thinking their loss, there is still this in incessant energy of thinking, thinking, thinking about them, thinking about the situation, thinking about, um, is it going to come back around? Are they going to come back through? Is this thing ever going to um, stabilize? Uh, you guys could be trying to find ways to actually ground your energy right now, just because maybe you don't like some of the headspace that you're finding yourself in, which is just constantly thinking about, you know, um, um, somebody um, that potentially did you wrong or, you know, if it was your misstep, um, maybe even overthinking that. Um, but I mean, overall, it's like that Knight of Cups energy is the messenger. So am I going to be hearing from this person on my that's on my mind, right? Is this going to be a, a, a true 30 day thing? Are they going to come back sooner? Um, likely so, especially if this is something that just happened. All right. So how are you feeling about this person on your mind? How are you feeling about this person on your mind? Again, you guys really just want this person to come through for you. You got your Eight of Cups energy. You got your Ace of Swords energy. You got your Queen of Coins energy. So um, how you feel about them, um, you want them to return, right? Um, you got your Six of Wands energy too. It's like you're, that's the victory that you, that could be made possible for you, right? Um, it would be a, it would be like a, a, a victory, on your behalf if they were to return but right now the energy feels real stuck okay you have your eight of cups that's where i see that return happening that's the desired return that new beginning through that ace of swords but if it's going to come back around you know looking for it to be a success um not just um not we're not going to restart it just to experience you know the the separation again right um and the queen of coins energy it could just be that um how you look at this person you know physically mentally emotionally um i feel like the queen of coins is a very admirable card to come through on how you feel about somebody so to me it tells me that you're very attracted to this person's um well physical their their beauty um their handsomeness um how they dress how they speak how they talk but also to the queen of coins is somebody who would represent themselves as a good parent, a good um, provider, somebody that's a go-getter when it comes to um, their ability to make a living for themselves, right? Um, so very admirable energy comes through on how you feel about this person. So even um, through separation, you guys, you, I, I feel like you guys are thinking very highly of this person. Um, they, they're like, it's like, that's the one, that's the one. Um, so just come on over here, right? So let's see what their energy is, their energy. So Aries, you could be dealing with the Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, strong Aquarius and Aries coming through here. All right. 
um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aries. So their energy. Um, I So as, as far as their current energy, I feel like you guys could be um, actually underway of having this connection come back through because the Ace of Cups is showing up. Okay. The Ace of Cups does represent new beginnings, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. I don't feel like this person's venturing off anywhere. Okay. Um, but um, I do feel like they're kind of desiring the same um, energy that you are messengers. So they could be actually waiting for you to come through. I'll say this, um, whoever caused the distraction, whoever caused the disconnection, I'm always going to be in favor of that person. Um, they can return. Okay. If they messed up somehow, you know, they pulled their energy away. They went to the grass is greener. They went and did a, B or C, um, allow them time to come back through. Don't go chasing them. Um, but it's almost like they're waiting for you to come back through too. Um, you got your star card coming through, which is a humanitarian. It's an inspiration, but I also feel like it's, um, this is definitely speaking on the person that is, um, encapsulating your heart. Okay. And you got your emperor energy also coming through. So another clue as to a soulmate dynamic. So if you guys have wondered, um, you know, who this person is and what they represent into your life, um, maybe even research the term twin flame soulmates, um, all that big energy comes from that um, emperor card. So you guys, um, th definitely the, your soulmate is showing up in this reading. Okay. So that's a confirmation. How is this person feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? So like you, um, yeah, like you, they cannot stop thinking about you. You got your seven of wands energy. That tells me that they are thinking just as much as of you as you are them okay the tower moment the tower the moment that it all happened why did this um, have to happen this way why did we disconnect um but i mean ultimately i kind of had to hold this card back because look at that you got your empress energy coming through so they look at you as a divine counterpart just as you do them okay and if you guys are not feeling that energy um, this might not be a reading, but what I see here is definitely some mirrored type of energy and feelings. So how you guys are coming across towards one another, um, you know, getting mixed in your little energy. Um, I don't know. It's like an energetic entanglement is what I want to say, because this energy is definitely mirrored. How could I have let you go? Why does um, things have to happen? Why did this have to happen? Whatever caused your guys' uh, no contact. Um, but they're really struggling through it. Okay. Um, you know, with the tower card that is sudden, um, unexpected, you know, negative happenings. Why did this have to happen? But they cannot stop thinking about you. Again, they, they look at you as love, comfort, home, stability. It doesn't matter um, how far apart you guys are. Um, and I honestly feel like you guys both feel that way about one another. So, um, and I don't even want to talk about right person, wrong timing anymore. Um, no, I'm over that. Um uh, I, I don't know. I feel like two people who would feel as strongly as this um, will somehow manage to make things work, right? So how are they feeling about no contact? How are they feeling about no contact? <clears throat> got that Queen of Swords energy coming through. So we got Justice. It did throw, it did throw out in reverse. Um, so, I mean, again, whatever has caused the separation, they could be feeling that little burn. The queen of swords to me would represent wanting to um, clarify the situation. Sometimes, you know what, um, we have to get pulled apart in order to see, um, the bigger picture. Okay. Um, so I feel like you guys, um, kind of taking this time apart right now to reflect on what it is you truly want when it comes to the other, um, I feel like that's going to help this connection a lot. I see a desired, um, communication coming through with the queen of swords, Okay, how they feel about no contact with temperance card coming through. I'm not going to say they're happy, but they are finding peace um, within your guys' disconnection for, at this moment, okay, um, during this time. Again, justice, maybe not really liking the way they feel, but sometimes things have to happen. All right, but I want that new beginning. Okay, so let's see if they're going to be um, on the returning end in the next 30 days. So 30 days from when you cross paths with this video. Are they going to return? We got our Nine of Swords coming through. I feel like that's a side note saying don't fret. Don't fret. Okay. Um, they The energy is definitely heavy. All right. So I'm going to say this. With the energy that comes through here, it could be that you guys are actually waiting on the other one to make the first move. 
okay and i'm over here saying well if they are the ones that cause a disconnection wait for them to reach out um you know you guys could actually be a couple that actually butts head so you guys are waiting for the other to reach out um you got your magician card coming through also which to me magician card is all about manifestations um, it's also a communication card. So I do feel that maybe, um, if not physically seeing each other, okay, there may be some communication. Um, and as I, as that happened, we got the ace of coins showing up right here. So I'm just going to clarify this energy. Cause I almost, I also feel like you guys are being told to get out of your head about it. Um, if you're overthinking it too much, if you're thinking the worst case scenario, then it's likely the worst case scenario will manifest. All right. Um, but if you stay out of your head, you guys don't, don't think too much about it. Look at that. You got your messenger card. So this could be right after the 30 days. All right. Stay determined and focused on the positive, not the negative energy. Um, as you reflect on the past of what's happened, what's transpired, um, also let it go because there is going to be some sort of balance that's brought back through here for you guys. If you feel like you are not obligated, you don't want to reach out. Don't, don't then let them come to you. Okay. Um, so it might be pushing after 30 days before you'll actually see this leveling out. But let's check their intentions for when they do come through. What are their intentions for when they do come back through? We got the five of coins coming through. We got five of coins. We got the six of cups. Look, it's because they don't like how they feel. They don't like this feeling. It's like a burden, right? It's a burden how you guys are feeling right now. So, you know, when it comes to their intentions of when they do come back, it's to have that deep communication, to rebuild the trust, to truly come back because I do feel like you guys have a connection that does have the potential to evolve. But also, too, it's because, you know, in the end, it's like, I don't like how I feel. I don't like this feeling and I don't know. I don't like, um, you know, not knowing what you're going through, not knowing what's happening with you. I don't like this feeling. So um, you do have a big return coming through with this. And I feel like as far as intentions, it's to show you that they truly do love you, you guys. Um, let's get some initials. All right. Initials. We'll do six. And this could either be yours or theirs. If no, none come out, you guys don't fret. Okay. Um. The initials are just the, the side notes. So we have Z, D, J, P, W, and F. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Aries, take care.